Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video I'm going to show you how to draft a pattern for a basic close fitting shirt. So for this video you're going to need a close fitting bodice so I'll link um, my tutorial for that down below. So to start you're going to need to trace around the bodice block but while you're tracing out you're going to move that dart into the side seam and I have a video on dart manipulation which I'll also link for you. Okay, so now we're going to draw in the button stand. So to do this, you're going to measure out 1.5 centimeters from your center front line, uh, the whole way down the bodice. And then using your ruler, you're going to draw in the button stand. So once you have the button stand drawn in, just draw a straight line down the middle of the button stand. So once you've drawn in the button stand, you're going to mark in all your pattern information. Now using a fresh sheet and a tracing wheel, you're going to trace out the button stand and draw it in with your ruler. So at this point you need to decide how many buttons you want. So I went with six. So now what you need to do is measure the length of your button stand and then divide it by the amount of buttons. And this will give you the distance between each button. So from the bo top of the button stand, I actually measured one centimeter and then marked my first button. And then I did my math. So to get the distance between the remaining buttons. So instead of actually measuring from the top of my button stand, I measured from the first button. So hopefully that explains it. <laughs> so that is the right side of the shirt finished. So now for the left side of the shirt, you're simply going to trace out the bodice the same way that you did for the right side, um, moving the dart into the side seam. So now you need to draw in the button stand the same way you did with the first one on the right side. So once you have the button stand drawn in, you need to add in a three centimeter facing alongside that button stand. So when you've done all that, go ahead and mark in your notches on both ends of the button stand. And that is your finished pattern. So now you can go ahead and mark in all your information. And from here you could add your seam allowance or copy it, copy it onto a solid block. So in my next video I'll show you how to draft the collar for your shirt. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up as it really helps support my channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more pattern videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part two. Bye guys.